Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here bringing us another episode of Design Royale, the hottest design show on YouTube where we take eight different contestants going head to head for three rounds. First round, of course, half of them are actually eliminated right off the bat. Second round, the next half is eliminated and the third and final round is a one of you one with our final contestants and one of them will be crowned Design Royale champions. As always, each contestant has two different perks to choose from, Critique and Sabotage. With choosing Critique, they get to have a one minute Critique live session during round one and then with a Sabotage, they get to to choose one person to stop designing for four minutes and to get to know our contestants today we have ben sparrow who is a 21 year old graphic designer and a in quotations inconsistent youtuber frostify who is a graphic and motion designer for oni studios gg next up is noah who is a multimedia creative ivern who is a 3d and graphic designer for gg bleed and oasis gaming annie who is a junior graphic designer for t1 and coming back from episode one we have Jaden. however he is a 20 year old creator for nysl subliners and the flank shuriken who is a squad leader at MU59 by day and a self-proclaimed GFX ninja by night for Team Clash. And then last with the roster is Arcane, who happens to be a self-proclaimed visual chief. Now for the first brief that these amazing contestants are going to be designing against is a McDonald's x Spongebob collab, which for the record isn't real. However, McDonald's and Spongebob are collaborating on a throwback 90s Happy Meal collection in celebration of Spongebob's 25th anniversary. They are looking to appeal to 90s kids with a campaign that showcases a vintage 90s aesthetic. And with that, they only have one hour to design, so let's see what these guys got. Let's just jump into it. Okay, so three, two, one, start designing. Oh, okay, right. I'm already scared. Dude, I don't even know what I want to do. Okay, guys, I'm actually absolutely terrified about this brief because it is a 90s aesthetic and I have never, ever in my life attempted that. All right, George, this is a fun one, no? I think it'll be fun. The challenge is really really weird so I, i'm curious to see how people uh, approach <laughs> definitely it definitely really weird okay, <laughs> it's a mcdonald's vintage spongebob ad with it all the information needs to be there all that good stuff so i think it's gonna be pretty fun we'll see what they can do this gives me inspiration this gives me the good vibes i don't know how much time has passed it feels like it's been years already and i need to get some inspiration up so what i'm actually doing is let's get a nice mcdonald's ad up and have a look at some stuff. Ain't no way McDonald's fake PNG'd me, bro, what? <laughs> I'm thinking about changing the package of the Happy Meal to be similar to SpongeBob's face. I'm definitely gonna go the kind of like inspirational poster. It's times like these where I wish I was born in the 90s, but you know what, beggars cannot be choosers. To find colors that like complement each other here. I don't want it to be too SpongeBob-y. There is an easier way to do this. I do not accept your review right now because i am rushing and i am stressed out oh my god i'm so sleepy oh, it's 4 a.m i think the packaging is done what you need to do is maybe customize this if i have time i don't think i will be having any i'm focusing so hard on nothing right now nothing to focus on like, i don't even have anything in place yes that's exactly what i'm looking for vintage king oh no it doesn't take numbers 20 minutes already went by there's 40 minutes left i had an image in my head and when sessa said okay time to draw and design i was like oh no i forgot <laughs> spongebob is ruining my life Ooh, yes, yes. This is gonna make it feel way more SpongeBob. Oh shit, okay, yo, Jaden just asked her sabotage Ben. That's just rude, bro. Okay. I can't design for four minutes. Oh, it's so scoffed. I'm sorry, brother. Actually, not really. I'm trying to see if I can hack the system and use my perk while I've been sabotaged. Ben said, can I use my critique now? Hey, is that a loophole? Or are we taking that? I think we take that. I can tell you immediately the 90s needs to go. It shouldn't yeah. be spoken like literally she's spoken visually so as soon as the 90s go and you kind of put more emphasis on half a meal collection oh i can't delete it but yeah but oh uh, yeah <laughs> yeah you're screwed yeah maybe it wasn't a good idea <laughs> eddie i'm here to help you asked what is up if you look at some other like references and inspiration i, I can't say much because what, what you have right now is actually great we're just gonna make sure we reel it in with i guess filling your white space out texture is gonna be really important i would also just as a, a side note i think the white that you're using is too cool we're gonna go ahead and define this as a pattern and this is going to be super funny i i, I think this is going to be awesome all right yep this is good this is great i'm loving this okay oh i could do something with that surely i could have him like peeping out the uh, like a box frost 
Ossify asks for critique. Let's go jump in. I'm not entirely sure if the the typography gives me 90s enough. I think it can work. I mean, that kind of type existed in the 90s. I think texture is going to be really important. Maybe even consider making the Happy Meals all black and see how that goes. I'm not sure how I, how I feel about the blue. I have to pee so bad. Yeah, add some texture in like this. Maybe this will, maybe something like this. I, I love that, but really subtle. Oh my God, that's feeling much better already. It was the color. Yeah, that's SpongeBob. That feels like SpongeBob. I'm sweating right now. This is so stressful. 12 minutes remaining. I have no idea why I chose 12 minutes, but they're doing really good. Yeah, okay, so this is, this is looking good. I think the texture will take care of a lot of the work, so. We'll see what happens there. Oh, 12 minutes. Oh my God. So we got Noah with the critique. Let's go ahead and hop in with Noah. Your complimentary color of that sort of like peachy brown color may be a little bit off for the whole composition. I think if, even if that was like black, for instance, for a second, it would immediately feel more stronger. I feel like it needs something. It's missing something. Colors need tweaking. That's what it is. This is really, really, really scary. And I realize the texture is now just absolutely screwing me. So this is so, so bad. The idea is not that bad, but the execution is terrible. Only three minutes remaining and that's it. Brief, brief, three minutes. I'm dead, bro. I'm dead as hell. Okay, I, I need to I need to make it or break it like right now. I need to move. I can't find a font that I'm happy with. Oh god, this is gonna be a down for my font choice. It's not what I want. <laughs> I'm not that happy, but it's not that bad. Wait, 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 wait. Oh dude, I don't know. I definitely think I just got eliminated. <laughs> Oh, it's just gonna have to be that, isn't it? Oh, I've thrown, I've thrown so hard. All right, that is it. Time is up. So now we're doing elevator pitches. This is going to be your opportunity to tell us the decisions that you made, why you made those decisions. And we're gonna start off with Annie. I wanted to stick with the SpongeBob theme and also trying to keep the 90s vibes of noise and texture along with some patterns, but I didn't want to make it too loud. So I kept them uh, a little quieter to make the type and also the imagery with the logos, the main focal point. Okay, uh, next would be Arcane. So I went full on 90s aesthetic uh, poster design. I wanted to give it the vibe, but it was actually designed on, on the 90s with some text compositions and fake text. Awesome, okay, Ben. I always just instantly think like kind of like American Diner, kind of kind of like Stranger Things kind of vibes. I think that's more technically 80s or something. But so I kind of went for like the old like the old style of McDonald's ad. So I've got like the old kind of texture in there. Tried to go for like some 90s style fonts. Kind of happy with overall how it came out. Not too happy with the typography, but it is what it is. There's some challenge in it. Awesome. Okay, Frostify, you're up next. So with my poster, I really decided to go in and study for the first half of the competition how 90s advertisements looked back in back in the day. So I I decided to go with a blue and an orange look and the typography was definitely hit or miss for me but i found an okay font that was able to fill up space and also kind of give a vintage vibe but i really wanted to overall rely on texture for this poster the pattern in the background it's got some spongebob icons which is really cool and yeah that is overall my direction sweet okay ivern you're up next uh basically uh, yeah it's 1990s so i want to try something more vibrant something more appealing to the kids and of course to the other people. It was pretty difficult, but I think it turned out okay. Uh, Jaden, you're up next. To start off on my monitor, these colors look nothing like they do on my other monitors. So, uh, fucked up there. <laughs> I, I tried to keep it simple with the, uh, the SpongeBob kind of pattern and the dots going on in the back. Um, I wanted to keep the two main colors, the yellow and the red. I took some elements from the SpongeBob logo itself, the wooden board, threw some chicky nuggies in there. Yeah, that wraps it up. I felt the, the, the monitor thing, it's A-OK. -okay. Um, Noah, you're up next. I noticed with a lot of the 90 Stars posters already, they had like um, quite muted colors most of the time. So I took those, like messed around with a couple color schemes and then found like this was kind of the most ideal one. I also got like a good vintage style font to go with that. Some patterns in the back as well um, to just bring the whole thing together really. Awesome, OK, and then Shuriken, you're our last person up. I remembered how the advertisement from McDonald's looked like in the Egyptian uh, Mickey the Mouse posters. 
they were pages that they were used to advertise the happy meals and the new toys. It was all about manipulation. I also went for the packaging. 25 years anniversary is a big event. It should have a package change. I just went for manipulation. Okay, I mean, you guys honestly all did phenomenal for an hour. This is this is some top tier stuff. So what's gonna happen is me and George are gonna go ahead and talk critique our stuff over and kind of give you guys uh the four people moving on to the second round and uh they're just gonna leave you guys here to just just dwell and get more and more stressed it's gonna be great let's just begin from the top what, what do we think about frostify's design i think frostify was going in the right direction i definitely think that there was some opportunity with the building imagery that he used in the bottom i know that in fast food that was pretty common to do i don't know if the texture feels maybe too aggressive it kind of reminds me more of like hip-hop grunge, like grunge rather yeah. than like vintage retro Tear. definitely is more grunge than noise looking good but let's say we move on to ben for a second and say what we're thinking over there the imagery works i like the idea with putting it on the platter and everything the yeah. color i think fits it definitely feels more vintage i think the platter kind of saves it makes us feel very, very like holistically SpongeBob, which is a really good call. So I'm gonna say really good on Ben. Ivern, what are we thinking on Ivern's idea? His concept really came through when he started applying texture to everything. I really appreciate that he decided to subdue that texture in the very background at the edges. I know originally it was black and I think the hierarchy works too. So visually it works and I think it hits the brief really well. Heavily appreciate Ivern's concept. Now Arcane's a little more like artistic on his approach here. What do you think? The filter applied to the imagery and I think the image as a whole looks super, super credible to the like 90s aesthetic. I'm a little bit unsure on the logo in the top right corner with the Happy Meal. I feel like even in the 90s, that's not really a lockup that you would see. And it definitely doesn't feel like something McDonald's would put out. Really good job there and very unique, I will say too. But definitely the badge, a little weird. Shuriken's concept, what are you thinking? I think this one is probably, in my eyes, was the least vintage looking. But I really appreciate that he brought up in his pitch that he had references of like 90s Happy Meal to go off of the composition is great i love seeing the mock-ups with the smiling face with the shape of the arch of the m it doesn't feel like two 1990s on the dot but it does feel like that transition between like before we got to modern and before we left vintage it feels like right in the middle which is still in a way in a universe i can defend and say that it actually hits okay so noah's concept what are we thinking it seemed like he was a, a little bit distraught on yeah. like the colors and yeah. i he applied the filter to it which helped a little bit but i think the main issue is just the the color still feels like super high contrast and then super muted in some areas it's going in the right direction i'm not sure if it's enough to save the design Jaden's concept, what are we thinking over here? To me, it hits. I, I like the composition. It feels friendly, playful, a little bit corny. And I appreciate the imagery itself, like the products probably feel the most like they were shot from like a 90s film camera or something. The positioning feels distraught, I feel like I wanna say, where it feels like it doesn't have like a focal point. It feels too left heavy or something like that. But however, I will say that it does feel the most 90s in the sense of just like the atmosphere between like foreground, background, midground, you kind of have that really cool vision of sort of manipulation there. Let's look at Annie's, the last person's. What are we thinking with Annie's? I appreciate the way the composition is set up. The hierarchy is very clear. You can see both the logos on the left and the right side. I think the imagery used feels very cohesive, very subtle texture to it makes it feel vintage. So I think the type works, the placements work. And for the most part, I think the composition looks pretty good. It's clean in its own right. The vision's there. It's very focused and nailed. And, you know, I can't lie and say that I feel Andy did a really good job, too. With that said, the people moving on will be Shuriken, Ivern, Annie, and Jaden. You guys did phenomenal. We'll move on to the second brief, which is also really awesome and strong. And it's probably going to break your brains even a little bit more. So let's just see what happens. For round two, we have a Nike X Fortnite collab. Nike and Fortnite are announcing an activation for their summer Just Play It campaign. Their objective is to bring athletic streetwear culture and gamers together. They'll be hosting a Fortnite tournament with prizes and looking for promotional posters that represents both brands. The event is held on July 22nd to the 24th and Victory Royale winners will receive Nike Air Jordan skins. And for the record, this is not a real collab, but let's just see what these guys got. Let's see. All right, are we ready, friends? 
This is, uh, yep. That's, yeah. oh, there's a nerve. I can, kinda, <laughs> I, I can feel that one felt <laughs> awful. So in that case, I'm gonna say three, two, one, start designing and good luck. I'm gonna do this poster. I feel like horizontal was really holding me back. I am looking for 3D models. I'm kind of looking for like an angle for someone to be tying their shoe. George, that felt like they just had a panic attack. And, like, yeah, like, the, the vibe you know? is definitely different from the first <laughs> round, to be honest with you. They're a little nervous. <laughs> this is great. I love that. We're going to see some people execute some great stuff. And honestly, a Nike X Fortnite collab, I think is going to go, you know, it's going to look sick. I, I hope so. We'll see what they do. What I did last time was I just threw a whole bunch of shit out and I just hope for the best. So let's do the opposite and actually plan it out. I don't think I would be able to make it on time. Perfect, 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 perfect. I think like a summer festival color scheme could be cool. I think this would be super cool to do. I think something like that kind of effect. I hate Blender. Okay, I wasted too much time trying to figure out if this thing is centered or not. 35 minutes remaining. I think the one thing I really want to do that I don't think I was able to do last round was focus on color. Not responding. I'm sorry, but did Shuriken- wait, did Sir- Shuriken just said his PC just crashed? Oh no. Oh boy. No. <laughs> oh, no. I'm a haram. I don't know what to say, to be honest. I don't know what to do. Kinda don't like what's going on with these shapes. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, so OBS crashed. I just lost so much full, but we keep on going. As soon as I break out of my train of thought, I just automatically lose it. I need to get rid of this play thing too. That just doesn't look good. Ah, contrast is Contrast is so bad. Hey man, it's left. Oh no! <laughs> All right, let me get a Fortnite skyline silhouette. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to do this. What am I supposed to do? When in doubt, add texture. <laughs> Two minute warning, that is it. Oh, this is getting scary. I think I killed this shit on cap. Actually, I'm probably gonna get shit on. Oh God. Kind of nervous. Uh, I don't know if uh, I don't even know if this is like good like coloring. Oh god. Oh no. All right, time is up. Yo, how how was that, guys? Was that okay? What are we thinking? Every day's pain, but you know we move <laughs> on. We live. We continue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Uh, <laughs> no. uh, well, I hope you guys had a little fun. You guys all did honestly fantastic. If we can get some final images, and uh, can we start off with some elevator pitches as well? So uh, let's start off with um Annie. I use the renders for the Fortnite skins as like the jump off point. I went off of some of the different shapes that I found from like Fortnite backgrounds. I also wanted to keep it clean with the Nike aesthetic as well and try to combine both. Okay, uh, Jaden. Nike has a pretty noticeable brand. I wanted to intertwine that with Fortnite, which is that's pretty known as well. I merged the logos together to try to give myself a logo to go off of for the rest of the piece. I added elements like the Victory Royale symbol. It's easily noticeable. And then the Tilted Tower came into play with the in the play. We take those, got you. Uh, Ivern, what about you? So basically the, the guy. So I made it like uh, the main spotlight. Then I added three more for the characters. Then since it is a summer campaign, so I added some summer touchings then with the colors too. Uh, and then last but not least, or I guess last in this case, Shuriken. Okay, so as you all saw, 
Um, I was going <laughs> for merging the actual skin with the uh, Air Jordans. I was going to customize the skin a little bit that emphasizes that they are brand new. Unfortunately, Blender crashed and I had to start all over. Got you. And I will say, I think you recovered pretty well. So don't, don't get too hard on yourself. But all right. We have all of your sort of like elevator pictures. I'm going to, of course, go ahead and uh, critique these. And then we're going to find our two people moving on to 1v1 with our last brief. So I I'll, I'll get right to the, ch uh, the ch cut. How do you say the ch cut to the chase? Yeah. Ivern, we're going. That guy's going through. We're not even going to hold you. I think this, this dude... This dude is amazing. He kind of like really kind of emphasized, I guess, combined both Nike and Fortnite very well. Of course, making Fortnite the sort of uh, character asset support carry, but also using the sans serif fonts, these groupings of how like the lower third looks like. I think that's a great way to describe it with color is Nike uses very dramatic, stark black and white. And then Fortnite is obviously a bit brighter. It's like vibrant, bubbly. And I think the way he incorporated that look together it feels very cohesive it feels dramatic but it still feels friendly enough with like the summer elements so uh up next for us would be shuriken what off uh, i mean unfortunate about the blender thing but honestly given the fact that the, that blender situation happened it's still a very strong concept no given the time I, technically he had half as much time as everyone else with the crash on his uh on his software yeah, maybe but even like, a little bit less but yeah yeah but like it, realistically it turned out really well it was going in the right direction i i love how dramatic it is just like i said with ivern's it feels like nike i don't know if it leans towards fortnite enough i would agree i think the fact that you said dramatic is a very like key word here that he was definitely going for not maybe he didn't mention himself but I think he knew what he was saying when he thinks Nike he thought these dramatic inspirational or momentum posters that are like showcased and I think he did a really good job capturing that but Annie is up next for this one what do you think about Annie Annie's is I think it's strong it definitely feels like what we were showcasing in the reference photos I'm not sure how I feel about the hierarchy and the type everything being on the bottom maybe feels a bit too close together. I think this just play it slogan in the middle is very, very nice. I won't even lie to you. I almost feel like this feels very Fortnite. Like if there was a universe where we were to give a percentage, I think it feels like 80% Fortnite, 20% Nike. And the only thing I sort of see with Nike personally is the fact that the logo's there, right? So, or Nike for my homies in the UK. Okay. Last one would be Jaden. Jaden had a lot of really strong ideas. I think the texture on the right side, the top right, feels pretty close to something that Nike would actually do. I think the colors work. Having it complement the skins, I think makes sense. The typography seems pretty clear for the most part. I didn't realize what that L was in the like the top of the castle, but I didn't realize it was a tilted tower situation. Nice little touch to make it kind of play with that idea, you know, no pun intended, but you know, I feel like the type does feel well and also including the fact that that designer royale or Design Royale, Victory Royale, uh, banner for Fortnite uh, feels as good as it is and like holds that information pretty well. I think the Nike logo is a little bit of an afterthought there, but like kind of weirded out there. But honestly, for the time and for the texturing, the background, that complexity looks really, really good. Which brings us to the answer of who is moving on with, I think, Ivern would probably end up being... Our first person moving into the finals is going to be Ivern. So it feels dramatic. One thing I pointed out was that Nike is very black and white with their colors. And I think that Fortnite uses vibrant colors very often. And the way that the two were put together in this composition just feels right. It doesn't feel awkward and it totally feels like a blend between Nike and Fortnite. So obviously with that news, and right, by the way, congrats, Ivern. I don't know if you know, but how you feeling? I know it's like late as hell for your, you know, you know hopefully it feels... Uh, <laughs> it's like 7 a.m. ish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's wrap this. Let's wrap this up. Um, so no. Uh, with that said, there only is one other spot left to go ahead and compete with Ivern. There's a lot. There's a lot to think about and consider when it comes down to the other people. Uh, you know, Jaden, uh, Shuriken, and you guys all did fantastic. However, the person that is gonna be competing with Ivern will end up being. Jaden. Jaden, we feel as if your concept really kind of nailed the aspect of also the texturing, the elements, the typography, I think was very, very strong. One of the more stronger ones, I think amongst uh, your, your fellow competitors. Um, there's just the ideas you kind of put into, of course, reference these really nice playful words. Also using like a, a sans serif with a playful font, like the ideas are all holding all your information, that really awesome kind of texture in the top right, all felt very, very nice. And uh, 
sort of like made it the decision that it's going to be Jaden and Ivern that's uh moving on. So hi, how are you feeling, Jaden? I don't know you. This is this is not scripted, by the way. Yeah, this is my uh, redemption arc. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You're going for it. Are you gonna try to compete with you know the homie Ivan right now? Is kind of clean right now. What are you feeling? Is there any uh nervousness, or you just you just like you got in the bag? What's up? Nah, I'm not nervous. This is my day to day job. I, oh. I do this. I do this for a living. We're good. God, designers don't have egos, by the way. Uh, <laughs> so with that said, Ivern and Jade will be moving on and competing with our last brief. Nice little 1v1. And honestly, it's going to be pretty freaking dope. Now, for the last brief that these guys will be 1v1 against will be a Marvel's Avengers Esports. The Avengers are assembling an Esports team and seeking out a versus announcement for their first Valorant debut. They will be competing in Valorant Masters New York and need at least two deliverables to promote their social media. The team is looking for a versus or match graphic card featuring one of their players, as well as a hype post that also includes at least one of their players, and with that, their preferred agents to be included in the graphic, but are not needed. So, for instance, collaborating the ideas of Thor and Neon or Hulk and Breach. The branding for this activation should feel intimidating heroic and dominant they will have one hour and 30 minutes to design so let's see what these guys got all right ivern jaden are you guys ready let's go You're ready okay let's do it three two one design Ooh, let's go we're gonna get a nice yellow color palette i think this is gonna work the best get some inspiration first before I finalize all, all of my idea I don't know. Maybe this purple would kind of go crazy. Little color palette. There we go. I like that. Honestly, George, again, these briefs, I'm not gonna lie. We've been hitting some like dope briefs. If I was in this, I'm happy. I don't know about you, but like. I mean, there's a lot of potential to get creative with kind of the Marvel Universe style. And then I think both of the contestants have some solid experience with esports design. So we should see something really cool. Absolutely. I'm ready. I'm excited. You guys should be excited too. So let's just see what happens. Then we start with the logo first. It's my favorite part. I want to get the team's logo set and done so that I, I could just take the asset, just throw that on everything. Oh. Yeah, I think that should work. Our Masters New York. There we go. So yeah, maybe in the first of 10 to 20 minutes, I'm going to add some gradient to the agents. Definitely a lot less nervous than last time. Being in the 1v1 is just a lot less stressful, personally. This is gonna be the main asset that I wanna use, so I wanna make sure it's, it looks pretty good. I wanna throw this gradient map on there. Since Captain America plays a big role, you know, in the MC, MC universe, so yeah, I'm going to pick him first. This is literally so hard to like, think of stuff like this, like off the, like off the dome. This just doesn't make sense conceptually, which is kind of killing me. So yeah, boy, we're doing a 3M challenge right now, designing. I feel like I should be crying right now. Why does this look so bad? Data, you tell me there isn't a high quality picture of Neon? Already 30 minutes went by. These guys only have one hour left. And you know, some of these competitions are actually coming into play, which I can appreciate. All right, that's my asset right there. That looks f***ing dope. I think I'm going to add a mountain to make it feel like a more hype than more dominant for the graphic. Yeah, it, for me, it looks intimidating. Dude, this is f***ing impossible. Hold on, maybe we don't turn this into the game day. Yeah, should, everything should be easy to finish before the time goes over. We're about to get cooked. I don't know a single thing about the Avengers, frankly. Piper? Ooh, mommy. So 45 minutes now remaining. We're actually gonna go ahead and just do a midway check with both Ivern and Jaden. Starting off with Ivern. Let's see what he's doing. I'm pretty bit struggling with the shield, the color scheme of Captain America. For Viper, I think it's fine since that's the color of Black Widow. Oh, okay. So you're using Black Widow as the Viper and then Brim as like the Captain America. More or less applying their equipment to the actual character that's really smart to be honest i think the concept is really really strong right now it's a little bit hard to see them as the characters i think it's probably because brimstone doesn't look like captain america yet i'm thinking of planning that adding their logo so to add some resemblance to the character yeah i agree i think that's a smart move so i decided to go with the poster first and kind of get like get the intensity up and like you know like start actually designing i'm gonna i'm gonna work my way into the game day but i wanted to get a general feel and like style on how i wanted to set up the game day once i eventually get there and the only thing that's kind of bothering me is, is the backing so what i would say to that is maybe like you need to run into a 
situation where you're probably like typing in a Valorant background or like Marvel background or like using the actual cityscape of maybe New York in that sense. This poster looks like 90% Avengers, Marvel, and 10% Valorant. I think Ivern's was the opposite where it felt mostly like Valorant. So just to emphasize, we want it to feel like a happy medium between the two. So definitely like adding imagery of Valorant maybe in the background would help. And I think the general composition that you have works for the most part. So it it's good enough to move on with. Ooh, oh my God. I'm actually gonna change the direction that I'm going in right here. And this like, we're gonna try and find like a nice blue. Then we're gonna throw this in like the yellow. This kid, this font is very Valorant in my eyes. I wish I had more time. Are we adding some glow to Neon or Thor? We'll make him stand out more. All right, we're getting somewhere. 30 minutes remaining. All right, we got 30 minutes left, so I'm, I'm gonna have to start saving this up. So we're gonna throw a final texture on this. Maybe that's done? Maybe not. Thor is Neon, so I kind of want to put Neon in here. I'm just afraid that the colors just don't work out. Hold on, we did something. I feel like that looks weird. Look at we're doing it. No, back to the other one. We didn't give it like a more of a poster type, spoiler, something like that. 10 minutes left, that is it. Hopefully this is Valorant enough. Maybe I should put the, the shit, the logos right here. So yeah, I'm going to add that takes some look like a Asian feel, just like the Avengers Endgame. Putting these Valorant shit in here. Where's the NYC skyline? We're gonna throw it over everybody. My heart is racing. All right, here we go. Crunch time. Tried my best. Ooh, maybe I'm going to add more finishing touch. I love the way this turned out. No bullshit. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, uh it's fun. I'm done. Uh. And just like that, time is up. Stop designing. So now we are moving into elevator pitches. So we'll get about a minute description of the branding, the style, design choices, everything starting with Ivern's. So I'm going to explain first with the poster. I want it to feel like more vibrant, like just like the 22, 2022 posters of Marvel. I want to feel it like more of a movie poster. I, so I added Sabine Viper Kalas as Viper's real name as Black Widow. And I added the catchy tagline, the endgame is near. Basically, the it's like a championship round. For the second part, I wanted to feel like more vibrant and copy Thor's new color scheme. It stands out more of the graphic than added more typography and few more details. Hell yeah, okay. Uh, up next would be Jaden. So I found this uh, really good picture of Thor. I knew I wanted to use that right away because it's a big, bold picture. It kind of stands out. I went to bold typography as, as Bat Hollerant tends to use. They have those big, bold colors and it's very simple though. Okay, and then the game day, pretty much same thing, or not same thing, but I wanted to make sure that the Valorant equal out to the Avengers. So I kept the Avengers as the main character Character, rather than putting the Valorant character. Then I also included the big typography with the skyline of New York included inside the game day. With that though, me and George, per usual, are gonna go in and basically critique on our own selves and figure out who's gonna be the uh, the 1v1 champion here. All right, George, so we have our finalists here. Uh, I guess right off the bat, what are we thinking with Ivern's concept and how he tackled the Avengers X Valorant theme. I think Ivern hit pretty much every checkbox that we were looking for. So one detail I really appreciated was the design style of Valorant Masters being incorporated into the graphic. Really like the concept of having the players turn into the characters. And I think the compositions are done really well. The typography looks great and it hits a lot of the areas in the brief that we were looking for. What really reeled this in for me was the idea of combining the actual Valorant characters and you know the Marvel characters again with echoing what you just said the Thor color scheme in the hair that kind of stuff is very it's like pretty dope it's a different approach that I think Jaden used and speaking of Jaden's what do you think of Jaden's concepts Jaden also I mean did really well on his execution the composition looks good his incorporation of having the the New York City skyline was a, an interesting touch for the most part the hierarchy is very clear these work as posters they definitely feel like they hit those keywords that we had listed out given the fact that just like again sort of Jaden went more using the actual Marvel characters and then Ivern used more of the actual Valorant characters however though Jaden's concept I think would save this for me in the sense of like making sure it feels like a Marvel X 
Valorant situation is these sort of like jet knives that are coming in. Um, again, with like the actual type texture with like the Valorant Masters, how they actually and, uh, incorporate their like UI elements, just stuff like that, right? It looks kind of cool. And also the, the Thor, Hulk, Spider-Man, Hawkeye, Iron Man kind of like little text, you know, giving the actual rosters a really cool little touch as well. Overall, I would say that personally, we're probably gonna end up picking though. I, I, don't, I don't know if you're on the same page as me, Georgie. Do you get, what are you thinking? I mean, I think if I had to pick someone, I would probably choose Okay, so Ivern, Jaden, I know it took a little second, but I I'm not gonna lie, you guys, you guys killed it. For one record, I would say, one. it's kind of funny, one of you guys actually, uh, more or less choose the actual option of using Marvel as a focus in the universe, right? And then using a Valor as a focus. So it's actually kind of funny how you guys both flipped, you guys just went completely different rounds. So there is gonna be obviously one winner who's gonna be crowned today for our Design Royale Graphic Design Edition Champion. And of course, for the record, Ivern and uh, Jaden will both be moving on for, you know, the, the championship series whenever we do one more episode of Design Royale, Graph Design Edition. So you will see either both of them either again anyway. So with that, the person that we're going to be crowning champion for Design Royale Graphic Design Edition will be... Ivern. Oh no! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Let's go, jo uh, George. You can take it away for a quick second to kind of like you know, you know, detail our decision on that. So, Ivern, when we were looking at your graphic, what we noticed is that you pretty much hit every checkbox that we were looking for. I think the thing that sealed the deal was definitely incorporating the skins and having them feel like the actual player. So, neon looking like Thor, Black Widow suit just makes sense. It looks very refined. Ivern, how are you feeling, brother? Yeah, I'm so in, so nervous from the start. You were you were nervous, jeez. Okay, did you you, you Yeah, honestly... I was designing from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. So I don't know what will my mind to think for the designs. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Yeah, you're kind of you're you're crazy for that one. But overall, it was fun. It was fun meeting other designers. It was fun designing with them. So yeah. Heck yeah, okay, Jaden, what about you? I know that you came in second place, but uh, hey, don't forget, you did come back. This is my second rodeo. Not scripted, but hey, for a second place, which also means you'll be in the championship series, uh, how are you feeling? Pretty good, I'm chilling. Uh, I just, I'm cool to come back, it was fun something to do on the Sunday. So let me ask you something, you know, I feel like you've been playing this like laid back card. Are you gonna try to, are you gonna try to go crazy for the championship series or what? If you know me, I'm kind of just laid back anyways. Okay, fair. But like, I low-key might strike. Oh, okay. We love that. So with that, that is the episode here today. Episode two, of course, don't forget to check out episode one, uh, which was also a really freaking dope layout. So honestly, the designs in this episode were honestly freaking amazing. Um, again, Ivan Jaden killed it. Of course, congrats to Ivan once more. With that being said, it says some HQ out. We're gonna keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud guys. Later, much love, peace. And don't forget all the other Design Royale episodes, Motion Royale, Logo Royale, all that good stuff. Go check them out. All right, I love you guys. Peace.